What is up guys, it's your boy Retrox Reflex. We are here with another FIFA 20 player review. Today we're going to be looking at future star Joao Felix. This guy is worth like 1.75 on the uh, 1.75 mil on the Xbox One. Very, very expensive. He has those five stars. Still moves first a week for high medium work rates. 90 pitch, 92 shooting, 87 passing, 92 dribbling, 49 defending, 81 physicality. As you can see here, he has the flare trait and the outside first shot trait. Both very good traits. I love the outside first shot trait. It gives my strikers, you know, another some more angle shooting, more power, I believe. It feels like it's more power on some certain angles, and it's just an overall good trait to have. Okay, so moving on to the clips. Um, this guy, I played about, what was it, like 12 games with him, scored 13, got two assists. Um, I was really hyped about this card. I liked this goal card back at the beginning of FIFA. Very good for 80 overall. And, you know, just Joao Felix, you know, on career mode, he's really good. Uh, he grows into a really good player and you know just amazing looking card and I, I was a bit let down man um first of all the acceleration i think it's a bit too slow you could i did put a hawk on him but even then he felt a bit slow and a bit sluggish i don't understand why uh, not super sluggish just not you know he has 94 agility so i thought he would turn out a bit quicker but um it doesn't seem like it. it feels like he has like an 85 agility stat um, just sometimes the turning with him is pretty bad. I'm not sure why. Um, I think just the, his body type maybe. Uh, the finishing and shooting is amazing. Very, very, very good shots. Um, 90 finishing, 94 shot power. You can score outside the box. Finesse shots with him outside the box are very deadly, even though he doesn't have the finesse shot trait. Very deadly. Um, I would say move him. I try playing him as I can, but... I don't know, I think striker or even a center forward would be his best position. Passing is very good though. 89 short pass, 90 vision. Very, very good passing stats. The agility at 94, but like I said, I don't know, it feels like 85. Maybe it's just me. Um, I don't think it was the gameplay necessarily because I did play in the afternoon and then I played at night. And, you know, my gameplay was better at night and he still felt a bit off. He felt definitely a bit better. So... That's the problem. In bad gameplay, I don't know if this guy's viable. Um, like don't get me wrong, he's not like super, super, he doesn't feel like a tank, but for 1.7 mil, I need a bit more agility or it's really not worth it. Good ball control, good dribbling. I can You can dribble past the goalkeeper, past players. Um, very good at that, good heading. I did score a header with him. He has 91 jumping, so good heading stats. Uh, stamina is great. The strength, he's, uh, he's not super strong, but he can definitely hold some players off him when he uh, controls the ball. But guys, in general, uh, so for the pros, he has good sprint speed. It's at 93, so that's a plus uh, pace-wise. Good good finishing. Uh, great shooting in general. Outside for shot trade, very key. Good passing, great dribbling, good heading stats. Five-star skill moves, very fun to use. And four-star weak for that left foot is very deadly as well as his right. Uh, cons. I feel like a little bit sluggish. Let me know if you guys felt this way. Um, maybe it was just me, but let me know if you felt like he, if he was a bit sluggish. Acceleration is a bit of an issue. And honestly, guys, he's just not worth the price, in my opinion. For 1.75 mil, this guy was like 2.4 mil. So, pff, let alone, like, if he's not worth that 1.7, definitely not worth that 2.4. But, yeah, just not worth it at the price he's at even now, even though he's down a lot. And he just let me down, man. Like, there's not much to say. He just, this card, I thought it was going to be one of the best cards I've, I was going to use. But I was a bit let down, which is very unfortunate.
But that's it for the review, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to give him an 85 out of 100. Very good player. A bit, you know, the agility does bring that rating down a bit. And just the price, it's not really worth it, guys. Still a very good player. Like, if you got him untradeable, like, you shouldn't be mad at all. Like, very, very good. But I just wouldn't really dish out the coins for him. Uh, it's just not worth it, in my opinion. Go and play career mode if you want to try. <laughs> you know, this guy had a high rating. I think you can get him even higher. So, just go play career mode. Don't, you know, you're not missing on too much with this card. Um, It's really unfortunate, man. Like, a 92 draw Felix, I thought would be insane, but... I don't know, man. Besides the finishing and shooting and the good dribbling, there's not much to this card. There's other players that are way better. I feel like Aguero is better than this guy. Obviously, Messi, Neymar, Mbappe. I really like Mbappe more than this guy. Um, Just not a very meta player at all, unfortunately. But that's it for the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. It really helps me out. I really appreciate it. And... Leave me uh, a comment below. Uh, just, you know, let me know who you want to see review next. And also, let me know who, you know, just any other questions. Just any FIFA-related questions, any other gaming questions, anything like that. Real-life football, let me know. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Have a great day. Have a blessed day. Peace.